Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Marty! I'm Marty. Welcome back, everybody, to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, which right now has a startlingly small amount of Apollo in it. <laughs> That's fine. We're playing as Phoenix Wright. We're still in Turnabout Succession. We're continuing the Mason system today. Yep. Where, where are we going to go today? Well, that's kind of up to you. So we unlock this fan in the present day, the Borscht Bowl Club. I feel like or, that would be where we would need to go. Or we can go to the past because we still have the detention center and Drew's studio to go to. So where, where do, we, where do I you wanna, want to go? I want to go chronologically because otherwise it's going to make no sense. If that makes any sense. So you but... want one of these then? Would that be what's chronological? Chronological next? is in terms of like okay, time um, inside actual, the game. Okay, actual like without having to go back and forth. Oh, we already so you want it in much. like numerical yeah, or sequential numer order? Yeah. Would it be Borscht Bowl Club then? Yeah. That's what I thought because you we just unlocked it. Cool. Eesh. Present day Borscht Bowl Club. Well, not quite present day. This is past, during... but not quite past day. Yeah. Pfft, whatever. I'll be taking my leave now. Still have some work to do back at the office. Then I guess I'll go back to my piano. To be honest, it's better when you aren't playing. This frigid culinary dungeon almost feels... comfortable. Later, then. Yeah, whatever, pristine Gavin. <sighs> Two hours left on my shift. Wonder if we'll get any customers tonight. <clears throat> do you know who I am? Who I am? No. But if you can hum it, I can play it. Just kidding, I don't do requests. How about a different sort of request? You see, I play cards. Oh, a customer. I was just hoping someone would come in and save me from the night at the Keys. I seek a true competition. I have heard the Borscht Bull Club is the place for this. Now I see the rumor is true. And this is... a friend of yours? <laughs> doing here? Ah, don't mind me. I'm just a friendly neighborhood newsman. Ah, uh, he will not be playing tonight. When his business is finished, I shall send him home. This competition will be between us, no others. The right talent agency represents two artists, and I'm number two. I play piano. Well, sort of. It's actually just a front for my real talent, which is playing poker. Don't ask me how I got started. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. I can appreciate that. But I'm good. Real good. It didn't take long for the rumors to get around. Go to the Borscht Bull Club if you want a real game. That guy's never lost. People don't come to hear me tickle the ivory. They come to watch me play cards. Is this a seedy poker club? No. It's a restaurant. We don't play for high stakes. There's no money involved. But real players carry cash, and they're always thirsty. It's a handy source of income for the club owner. Then let's compete. I'll take you to the room. The hideout, yes. But before we do... Yes? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Shady Smith. Oh, and I'm Brushel, Spark Brushel, news reporter. Oh, I'm... No, no. Phoenix Wright. Huh? You must always look a man in the eye when you make your introductions. You still do not know who I am. Have we met? Ah! Today, in this courtroom, you cannot declare me guilty. What are you talking about? I am talking about this. M Mr. Enigmar! The defendant's escaped. Find him, quick! Bailiff, close all exits from the building. Why the heck did, would you trust me things to be- On the double! He must not be allowed to escape! You, you can't be- But you're- Zach Grammary? Yes, the reincarnation act of the century. Pity I only have an audience of one. You. Zach Grammary? This must be a bad dream. In a sense, this guy ruined my life. You there? Duh. We will play soon. Ready the room. Duh. I will be preparing the hideout for you.
Are you really him? The Zach Grammary? Now I am Shady Smith. Remember this. How many years has it been now? Six? In exactly three days from now, it will be seven. I caused you much inconvenience, I fear. Yeah, we still have your daughter. Yeah, you could say that. Is she well? Trucy, I mean. She's fine. I've got her working already. Hope you don't mind. I hardly need to express my gratitude. But you have it. This is why I have come. That and to settle a matter of cards. By which you mean poker? Those eyes. He's serious. I despise losing above all else. And so I've decided that I will win tonight. No matter what it takes. I know this guy's type. And they're dangerous. Everything's about the competition. All else is secondary. Perhaps we should take this time to talk before we play. I know you have much to ask me. Mm -hmm. And I, you. Cool. This guy's a jerk. I, he is Under, a jerk. Understatement of the century. Yeah, no. Uh -huh. This is grape juice. Is it refreshing? I usually drink too much and it ends up making me thirsty. Oh, Mr. Wright? There is something inside that bottle. Huh? It's my business card. You aren't surprised at all. Perhaps you don't like magic? I sure felt surprised. Maybe I had my poker face on. That's part of why Phoenix looks so weird and like, like just kind of like all the time mm. in this game, he always has his poker face on, basically. Yeah. It makes sense. I must say, it comes as quite a surprise. I never knew you played. I'd do anything else if I could, believe me. Oh yeah, there's something you could help me with. Do you think you could make that piano disappear? It'd help out a lot in a lot of ways, actually. <laughs> His face! It's like utter- <laughs> You say the funniest things with the straightest face. He has the utter face of like- Of just disgust. And, and like, also like- And also like, um, no. <laughs> People always tell me that. Except I wasn't joking. Oh, I can't read the menu. Borscht. Uh, but, what, but what's the, the special for today? Borscht. <laughs> but how- you could make it differently, maybe. Maybe it's like we've got borscht dumplings. We've got- Ew. We've got borscht, um, the uh, uh, I'm trying to think of- <laughs> Poached. We've got- I don't know. I'm trying to think yeah. of different ways you can cook it. Grilled borscht. We've got, uh, borscht on the cob. Um, <laughs> we've got- <laughs> It's literally just borscht when you put the press And we in have it. our video <laughs> title. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. You just eat it like like corn, but you just pick it up, you're like, okay. <laughs> One of the restaurant tables, this one's the closest to the piano. Which makes it the hardest to eat at, I hear. On days when I'm playing, that is. What do you think about the ukulele? The sound is slight, the annoyance curtailed. An ukulele in a Russian restaurant? Then you must go to a Hawaiian restaurant. Hawaiian shirts don't go with my complexion. Actually, I think he'd look really good. <laughs> I give up. Phoenix could pull off, like, the Hawaiian shirt. Especially since he's a dad. Maybe, I, feel yeah, like, maybe. I feel like dads pull off the Hawaiian shirts. Better than non-dads, yeah. yeah. We competed that day seven years ago, too. Ah, uh, yes. You must have been surprised. Called to the detention center out of the blue. Ugh. I just looked at my glasses and they were, like, covered... So I was like, oh, there's like a little spot, but it's fine. Then I took them off and it's like, Psh! it's like disgusting. Uh, two. Oh, sorry. I'm ruining this. Scene. One. <sighs> Showdown time. We've talked all we have needed to. Well, I guess he I... put his outfit back on. This is a flashback. Oh. <laughs> I lost. It's only a game of poker. A game I've played for a long time. And only lost twice. Who was the first? The man I killed, of course. You choose your defense attorneys by playing poker. Some are hired, others fired. When you compete, you see a man's true nature. You know what I speak of. I know that you do. Trucy's power? Trucy? She's in a class of her own. For seven years, I've played poker here at the Borscht Bowl Club, and I've never lost once. I'm good, but not that good. I win because whenever there's a big game, I bring in Trucy. Is that so? And she sends me signals. Daddy, he's got a good hand. You might have a chance if you act quick. Better call him soon. OK. 
can you tell me what her power is? Judging a person's thoughts by reading their reactions is a staple of performance magic. Yep. But those of Trucy's line possess far greater skill. Her line? Recall you were the second man to whom I've lost. Magnifi Grammary. Yeah. That was the first time I learned of this power, as you call it. Wait, so you're saying her power is genetic? It's just in the Grammary blood or something? Blood. What? Okay. I am sorry, but it is not something told lightly to outsiders. And it is nothing you need to know at this time. It's some kind of Grammary secret then? Fine. There is that, like... Can we break it? I doubt it. No. That's fine. She's 15 this year. Should have kept track. She's still trying her best to follow in your footsteps, you know. I see. When I planned my disappearing act, it was the thought of her alone that gave me pause. Wait, you were planning on vanishing from the get-go? Yeah. Yes, and for that I must apologize. However, I could not be found guilty that day. Because of this. This? A transferal of rights. You see the signature? A transferal? That's Magnifi Grammary's signature, isn't it? I hereby give all rights to the secrets, staging, and performance of my magic to the recipient named below. Recipient is Zach Grammary, Magnifi Grammary. The recipient's name is you, Zach Grammary. Yes, it is I. Wait, this page looks torn. You recall the diary, yes? First, take a close look at this diary. Note that a page has clearly been ripped out. As it just so happens, I have here what I believe to be the missing page. W wait let me see that! How could I forget? That scrap of paper lost me my attorney's badge. This is the real page that was torn from the book. Magnifi gave it to me that night. You could have told me this earlier, like seven years earlier. Yeah, no kidding. Once again, I must apologize. It was all I could do to prepare for my escape from that courtroom. Um, but you wouldn't This guy is the worst! You wouldn't have had to prepare it if you just told us. Yeah! This communication to its worst. Yeah, this guy's terrible. <laughs> there's a whole, I guess I know there's a whole series of comics called Zach Grammary is a Jerk, and it, it puts it pretty close yeah, in the light okay. of how bad he is. <laughs> the greatest of Magnifi Grammary's illusions are true art. As such, they are well protected by this document. Only its bearer may perform his illusions on stage. Sounds like a pretty important thing to have if you're his disciple. As the rightful heir to his art, I too wanted a rightful heir. Rightful? I'm sure you know who I chose as my successor. Your daughter. That is why I've risked all to come here tonight. Brushel? Sir? Ah, here you go! What's this? A letter passing the rights I have inherited to Trucy. I would have you sign here as a witness. B but I'm not a lawyer anymore. And you need a public notary besides. Ah, I may not look it, but I'm a certified notary. You are? By day, I wear a notary's glasses and hunt for news. Also by day, I wear reporter's glasses and notarize. When I take off the glasses, I can't see very well. Your signature, please. This is the first reason I've come here tonight. Transferal of rights added to the court record. I will say this does make me like Trucy more. Oh, it's yeah. Weird as that sounds. Trucy was kind of annoying, like, for... <sighs> But now, the whole panties. Yeah, case. I know that that kind of ruined case too. That honestly. ruined Trucy a bit. Because at first, at least it made her unique. I will say, <laughs> compared to like Maya and Maya Emma. was not obsessed with panties. It's nope. true. Maya was like the original. Emma was the copy until she had her own personality. But that was totally intentional with like how the case was made. Right. She was right. supposed to be like a foil to Maya. Yeah. Ah, I finally figured it out. Now I know why you've come out of hiding only now. It's been seven years, you said? Precisely. Well, that would be because of statute of limitations, I think? There's a law that covers your situation. After seven years, missing persons are considered to be legally deceased. 
So if someone was to vanish from the face of the earth seven years ago, they would lose all rights as a living person after the seven years from that day. Not to mention all of their possessions. Exactly, which is why I'm here. I risk showing my face in public for the sake of this document. Before my seven years are up. You might say, I am securing my daughter's inheritance. But do you really need this document? Wouldn't Trucy inherit your estate automatically? Not in this case, I am afraid. This case? Yes, I received the performance rights from Magnify Grammary. However, this was done in secret without witnesses. Before Magnify died, two potential successors to his repertoire were named. Myself, Zach Grammary, and Valent Grammary. Not Trucy. I see. So you do need this document. I have known Brushel since before I vanished. He is a man I trust. What? How? <laughs> How did they meet? How do they know each other? Is, is Brushel also oh, like- Oh, we were roommates in college. <laughs> can you imagine? Number one, can you imagine Zach in college? Number two, can you imagine them together? He's like the dude who would like go out drinking with like underage and Brushel's the dude who's like flossing every after every meal. Yeah, They're like I, the completely I different. would watch that for a season. You would watch that for a season? No way. <laughs> now only three know of my rebirth. I took the liberty of looking into Trucy's background and found you had no other close kin. It is as you say. Okay. I was kind of hoping he'd say something about the mother at this point. I know everyone else, but Trucy's mother is a mystery. We can't present our attorneys bad because we don't, we don't have, have it. <laughs> this is Just very like, sad. Just like present Mr. Hat. Mr. Zack, could you tell me about this? Mr. Wright, we meet for the first time in seven years, and you offer me this? Please. It's just Mr. It Wright trying to do the hat trick, but it's going terribly. <laughs> He's like, nice to meet you. And everything falls over. He doesn't have, like, a mannequin inside his cape as well. It wasn't a present. This guy's a hard sell. Probably won't get a rise out of him unless I show him something real interesting. The person in this photo is Trucy's mother. How did you come by this? Trucy showed it to me. She said her mother was gone. Then it is so. Huh? She is gone. What more is there to say? Um, lots? Ah, oh, I know, I know. Whoa, you're still here! According to my in-depth research, Trucy's mother, Magnify Grammary's only daughter, end quote. W what Magnify's daughter? Is that true, Mr. Zack? Brushel, you say too much. Magnify! <laughs> Uh, uh, what, uh, why am I the bad guy? Why? <laughs> Zack decked him. In any case, Mr. Wright, this discussion is over. Thalassa Grammary. She's the most mysterious of the whole lot. I need to gather me some more evidence, clearly. Well, the prelude may have been longer than the main attraction. Shall we begin our game? My final competition? Final? Why? As you said, I have come out of hiding today to make this document legally binding. Once that is done, I shall slip out once more underground. Without seeing your daughter? It would be best if I did not. Seven years ago, we played. Seven years ago, I lost. I already lost to Magnify. I do not care to lose to another. And I have heard that you never lose. It's just a rumor. Yes, for it is impossible to never lose. Unless one has an ace up one's sleeve. As a magician, it causes me no end of irritation. To think a mere lawyer might be out there pulling the wool over so many eyes. Hey, I just signed your document for you. Maybe you could try lightening up? That was that. This is this. For my final competition, I will destroy your perfect record, Phoenix Wright. What is- what is this whole idea of destroying perfect records? Why are you doing this, you butt? If we do this, we can't care for your daughter! Yeah, I know. At the <laughs> same the time, though, it's like, that is something that has reoccurred in every single... Phoenix every doesn't single have a perfect game. record. He lost no, he on lost. purpose for Mast Matt on guard. Yeah, he lost. Well, we could have... That was a moral victory, but... <laughs> yeah, we could have picked whatever we wanted, though, for that. Regardless of how what we picked, he would have been found guilty, though. Yeah, exactly. But some of it, yeah. 
the perfect record. That's just something that, like, sh shows up so many times. Shows up with both Von Karmas. Yep. Shows up with Edgeworth. Edgeworth never talks about destroying your perfect record. Not destroying ours. Destroying his. <laughs> Me wearing my watch? <laughs> there's, um... But there's also... Uh... Then there's the Skies. They don't talk about your perfect record at all, I don't think. Not ours. Theirs. We're like, Lana is like... She's been, like, the great prosecutor, and then she had that one case where they forged evidence, and they're like, oh, her perfect record destroyed. I'm like, I don't Dang. think they ever said I perfect record. I thought they did. I, anyway. I, I admit, though, it's definitely a recurring theme. Yeah. This will be my final performance. You are warned. This guy is beyond serious. So much for a fun evening of cards. Brushel, you may leave. Ah, but it's your last game! I mean, what a scoop! I punch and I punch, but still, it is not enough. Er, I just remembered a future, uh, a prior engagement. Ah, uh, toodles, gentlemen. Oh, and nice meeting you, piano man. Then let us begin, dealer. Da? You will be witness to our competition. Da, it is an honor for me. Why haven't I seen her around here before? Ah, that reminds me. I saw a familiar face as I entered this restaurant. He did not seem to notice me, however. Gavin. I believe that was his name. You know him? After a fashion. Listen, Phoenix Wright. One can learn much from a true competition. Remember this. Well, we have to break his... lock. We don't have the power to, though. Well, we will maybe later. The Grammary Power. I was close to understanding it, but I needed more. And I knew where to get it. Trucy's mother. I need to meet that reporter again, that was clear. And one other thing. From the moment my final competition with Zack began that night, a name was running through my head. The name of a man now in prison. A man Zack Grammary knew. But how and why? Yeah. I want to know more about Christoph Gavin. That's what I want. Maybe we should go to the pass? Or we could go to Solitary Cell 13. Never mind, we're going there. I want to go there. Which, by the way, if for people who have really, really good memory, Solitary Cell 13 is where Morgan Fay was imprisoned. Oh yeah, that was where she was imprisoned. Wow, that's a swanky prison. Luxurious. What the heck, you have a violin in there? Present day, central I could prison. See, I could see Morgan Fay like, sitting in the chair while Pearl's, like, talking to her, and she's like... <laughs> <laughs> like while she's sniffing the paint drinking uh, the paint marty oh she's uh, not a weirdo sniffing and, and <laughs> drinking it <laughs> present day central prison solitary cell 13 Sup? well well isn't this an unexpected surprise what errand brings you down to my cramped confines gavin <laughs> i forgot he is this your idea of revenge phoenix right Revenge for the events that took away your attorney's badge seven years ago? My past is like my logic, straight and true. Nothing's changed. All I did was point the finger of justice in the proper direction. Fine. I'm glad we could have this little tete-a-tete, -tete, right? You look well, Phoenix Wright. You too. Gavin. I love how they didn't let him change out of his uniform before they took nope. him to prison. He's gotta wear it. Also, one thing I want to point out, so... Actually, no, I'll point it out later. Okay. I like his hair. I like his appearance, honestly, but it's just... <laughs> he's, yeah. He's, he might be my favorite character from this, just how he's written. He's interesting. Mm -hmm. A lot of mystery behind him, too. Life has been full of surprises. For both of us. I've no doubt you never expected to lose that attorney's badge of yours. Especially to your brother. And I'll bet you never expected to wind up here. Shady Smith was the name of the man you killed. Did you know who he really was? Who he was? Zach Grammary. You know, the defendant. I remember him, of course. Ugh. But you say Smith was Zach? Impossible. Don't even try to tell me it was a coincidence. What did I just say? Life is full of surprises, don't you think? After that trial, you were arrested and found guilty. But your motive was never made clear. 
A mistake I plan to remedy. You are not an attorney anymore, Phoenix Wright. What possible conclusion do you think this investigation of yours can lead to? Everything! I killed a man named Smith with a bottle because I am an evil human being. Isn't that enough? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> not for me it isn't. I need to know why you did it, Gavin. Seven-year-old case. <laughs> Gavin has some of the best lines in the game. He has game. some of the best lines, <laughs> he has some of the best expressions and movements mm -hmm. also so he his expressions don't really change from the time you first meet him so uh -huh. like a lot Which of his like a lot of his friendly stuff at the beginning like just even though it's completely the same looks way more sinister once you know he's like killed somebody oh yeah it, it, like especially where like he's like leaning back with the smile mm, on his face yeah and i always like when we were starting where i'm like okay this is like apollo justice's mentor mm -hmm. i think it's cool that they had like the mentor turns on you type of deal <laughs> it's like if mia was evil yeah it's like if mia was evil yeah and then it's so but, great. but if she's dead what if she was dead and tormenting your mind like hey <laughs> this is what you need to do oh that would be a very different that game. would be that would be such <laughs> this game has an insanity meter <laughs> 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 that would be what this game would be you recall that case seven years ago? Ah, uh, yes. The trial where Zach Grammery pulled this famous vanishing act. My brother won his fair share of praise and adoration for that trial, as I recall. Genius prosecutor reveals crooked attorney, was it? That was when I met you, wasn't it? Was it now? The Bar Association Review Board voted unanimously for the strictest punishment. Unanimous. Save for one dissenting opinion. Yours. It was my brother who was responsible for putting you in that position, after all. For seven years, we've been friends. And yet, I still don't understand you. But yeah. right, your friendship toward me was never pure. You suspected me then, as you still do now, don't you? Honestly, right now, I'm not sure what I think. I love this music, too. It's good music. You didn't just brain a guy with a juice bottle for no reason. Tell me why you did it persistent, aren't you? I came here because I remembered something. The night of our game, Zach Grammery mentioned your name, Gavin. Ah, oh, that reminds me. I saw a familiar face as I entered this restaurant. He did not seem to notice me, however. Gavin. I believe that was his name. After that, he was killed, and I asked you to help me. Because I remembered your kindness back when everyone had turned on me. I seem to be in a bit of trouble. Something like that. Dead. Someone hit him. Hard. Me? Please. The cops should be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that. I will say, Phoenix Wright is very chill now. <laughs> he he went He went from the dude who literally catapulted off a bridge, and then, like... He fell down the bridge. Yeah, but... Well, what, what if one thing is pe our people are like, his internal monologue, and, like, when you play as him in the present, he's still pretty much exactly the same as the past. I think it's more just he has less of a filter now. He's less of a filter <laughs> A lot of the stuff that would be blue, and like, in his head, he's just saying out loud now. For him, too, it's also, like, seen some things... Oh yeah, he's just a little bit. More I, I like to think that it. like his weirdness around Apollo is like his way of coping, kind of with him being in a job he hates. Yeah. I have to know, why did you kill Shady Smith? No, Zach Grammery. Yeah, of course that one has like five. Whoa! whoa! I've never seen Cyclops like these. Dark, cold, full of despair. Can I even unlock these things? They're- they're yellow. Is it like two parts to every single one? <laughs> they're black. Oh. Why did you think they were yellow? There's only the tiniest little bit of yellow on them. There was yellow on them. There was a little bit. There was yellow on the red ones, too. There was like a lot of yellow on There was one. barely any, Marty. They were almost entirely My black. playing tricks on me? Yes, I think so. It looked like bumblebees. They, they were almost entirely black with just the tiniest little I stripe of yellow on them. Bumblebees. <laughs> oh, wish <laughs> me. <laughs> Something wrong, right? No, it's nothing. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. Life is to be taken easy, you know. He's doing his nails. What? <laughs> Why? Wait, I need to know more about that. Is, does he just, like, take out a nail file occasionally and be like... <laughs> 
You're thinking, what self-respecting man would use nail polish? You know what? I think, I think it's cool. If you're Not like really. That. I know appearances are a big thing with you. You know what I say. One cannot live a beautiful life without beautiful nails. Okay. <laughs> One of my favorite lines. <laughs> he is like Howl from Howl's I castle. see no point of living if, if I can't, can't be beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> no, I've seen, when I've gone to like the nail salon, I saw a couple people come in once. One of them was like, probably a five-year-old boy and one of them was like a 40-year-old man just came into the nail salon and was like yup do my nails please this is great and no he was not like drag or anything he was totally straight male I, I think you can't tell someone's straight just by looking at him unless he came in with his wife no, no he didn't come in with his wife he came yeah he seemed pretty straight that's why i was saying that first rate in all things except nothing less that's Great. That certainly does look like first-rate nail polish. I like the sparkly bottle. It's crystal. If you're so drawn to it, please have one. It's on me. Oh no. The guy me? in prison is giving us free stuff because he feels bad for us. I just realized what this might be, how everything's connecting up. Notice that? <laughs> Not, I mean, okay, for, forget that. I know that that's kind of like a nod to Vera. But what if the atroconine poisoning is in the nail polish? How do you figure that? Because she painted her nails religiously before the trial, and then every time she got nervous, she started biting her nails. Oh. Which then, if that's the case, if she swallows the nails, which most people when they bite their nails, it doesn't even do, need to. He, like Drew Misham, when he licked the stamp, didn't yeah. like swallow if it. If you bite your nails, and she did that right before at the end, where she was like, ugh. Oh, interesting just, theory. It might have been just the right amount. And he might have just been like, here, have some nail polish, you need it. <laughs> okay. I hope you like to bite your nails. <laughs> nice roses. You taking care of this one here? Ah, oh, yes. She's surprisingly delicate, you know? Requires careful tending, but she is my best friend, as they say. What's her name? Best? Come on, now I'm starting to feel bad for you. Oh? Of course, she's known to bite if handled roughly. Y your rose bites?! I was speaking of the photo next to the rose. My retriever, Vangole. Cute, but feisty. Oh! Every dog has its form. He's a golden retriever <laughs> that bites? <laughs> he's the one that goes to the litter and, like, he sees the playful one and he's like, that's the one I want. Yeah. <laughs> it's strange, you know? Here I am in solitary and yet the books keep piling up. Looks like you've got more than books up there. Ah, yes, my collection. I have a few friends on the prison staff. They show me a little kindness. Just a little? <laughs> <sighs> Who the heck? This is the fanciest I mean, prison cell. To be fair, they're like, wait, why is Morgan out of prison? Maybe she got moved to a different one. Maybe they released her. Maybe she got executed. <laughs> I think she might have gotten executed. That envelope's been bothering me since I came in here. It's not nice to it's peek at other people's envelope. mail. It's a yellow envelope. I'll repeat, uh -huh. it's not nice to peek at other people's mail. You get mail here in jail? That I do, though they read it first, apparently. Still, I am allowed the pleasure of correspondence. Packages and the like are a different matter, however. Hmm, looks like sneaking a peek is out of the question. Wait, they don't inspect packages? They don't let him have packages. Oh, okay. I was like, how did that? How would that work if it's like, oh, is okay, that somebody... a Bible <laughs> next to that? Maybe. That looks like the Bible I have, <laughs> like the life application oh, study. Oh, it Bible. does. Oh. It does. Oh, I mean, can you imagine him reading the Bible? No, though? I can't. Yeah. <laughs> That's some chair. Just looking at it makes me want to take a seat. You'd probably have to add a whole digit to the price of one of my office chairs, though. In here, a comfortable chair is the most valuable thing in the world. You'd have to add two digits to the price of the standard prison issue chair for this. Those prison chairs don't look so bad, either. Maybe I should redecorate. Yeah, you, like, <laughs> never do. This is so intriguing. Alright. Unfortunately, uh... we have to end it there. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is where it's getting good. I like I like the interrogation of Kristoff. This is so cool. I also really like, how, in that conversation, how, like, they're both being, they're both speaking very politely, but you can tell, like, they kind oh, of yeah. hate each other. <laughs> oh, yeah, underneath their, like, speaking, it's like, oh, how are you? Oh, very good, I've been, like, taking care of flowers, but underneath it's like, <sighs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to more next time. It looks like we'll be going back to the past to go to the other places. Back to the future past. Did you ever play that Fire Emblem Awakening? 
arc. They have like those. The future past. No. You didn't play that one. I never did either. Anyhow, tune in next time, everybody. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.